Huh. Another hopeful wandering about the Academy? <sighs> I suppose you want to know how to get prestige. I'm one of the Academy trainers, of course. You'd do well to watch your tone with me, hopeful. I'll be one of your instructors when and if you reach your final test. Oh yes, you gather prestige to earn the opportunity to take the final test. You don't automatically become a student. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> As if I didn't have better things to do. Has anyone told you about Jorak Um? He is much more than a simple hermit hiding in the hills, as you say. We are talking about the former master of the Academy. If you've already been told about him, there's little more I can tell you. With luck, perhaps he'll kidnap you and you'll get a chance to see him for yourself, huh? Now be gone. I have better things to do than chat with lost hopefuls. How do you do, hopeful? Seeking prestige? Yes. I am a trainer here at the Academy. I think I may be able to offer you some aid in gaining prestige, if you desire. Do you know of our renegade students? Those are the ones. It seems you have already heard of them. There is little more I can tell you then. Should you locate their hiding place, you would gain considerable prestige, I am sure. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to my studies. Tong abu sha umni na wanga kumbis king balemuraya. Choni yon tun jiji ida duana. Kava volpa mulje gumana. Chi gratu loda pograshi onion kumba chin tomo mutuba. Loda ida kun ida patisa batua kacha tu tong. Pograsha kun tija kum. Chuba kaha, chopa chawa chwish, yunku, jodo jitbunga rantang. Chan shak bulara, umrao chis kaduchi, on chuba nijish ka yanki, titoke gratung kun chicha kun king kacha chonobra, bogra wala no tumba cha, nechi chuna chuba ching, lorda ita kun, chi gratung. Da pograshi onio kumba chin tomo mutuba. Loda nita kun. Ida patisa batua kacha kun. Pograsha kun tija kum. Chuka chapa chawa chwish yunku. Jodo jitbunga rantang. We tam boragatong. Mulira a shang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tize. Igrutu haga jijiwa. What a juma wana hu wama hu hu na tek. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Sila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ma mulira. Dolpa da bongwale Kava dum ku pelio botinya, bona nai kuchu. A wonga boska chokola, mucha shaganga. Mana man atota, haki chukrata pola shui chonga tong, chong kuno bunka mule ra kungile, kungile no ba. What is the chocolate on a uno ku mulera? What on a wama mulera? Can you do a shark? No more bully mulera, Johnny Tun, Turgi Chiwi, Isado, Bola una dice, 
Palamores Limawanga kung bisching! Tag, bis yung pungko kuki magpanka! Ching palachis ka mule! Tunarana nu prata! Dungko si cha kuma wamama tus! Kevar koma! Nishai julor cha kinkuno bule raj! Tarunju stak miki! Grabul mogo! Kachichu ita bodunga! Tundo bank! Wale o ganta nalu! Mogisha punga! Mola wana chikne! Pamule slimo poda da nanga kumbist mule rabes janjak bula umra jis kaduchi on kuban jis ka yanki titoke gratun kun chicha kun king kacha chonobra bogra wala no tumba cha nechi chuna chubaching lorda ita kun jedo bado wana ni di bobo Tom na bunga bunga, tom patukas magdalera. Nga kung hanggang ano kung bes ching palamule kung tibag ano tak, tuk ning chatu kung ne mule rabes. Mucho shark pa ka? Kino no na mapaule rachiko. Takom juz tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Achuta. Wunga kun bis dolpi kikuguyana. Tong patugas magdelea. Achuta. Wunga kun bis dolpi kikuguyana. Tong patugas magdelea. Tolpa da pangwale kando na gugu chuchu. Kava dum ku pilio botenya. Bona nai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Jedo badawana ni di bobo. Tong na bung sha nununya. Tong patukas mak talea. Mucha shag pakat. Kie no no dama paole rachikun. Chi gratu lo da bograshi onne un komba cin tondo mochuba. Lo da nita kun. Ita patisa batua kacha tu tonga. Bograsha kun ti chaka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jin bunga ranta. Tong hai guam jiji dum lupa. Nita pue tikitu, dolpa da bongwaleo gando na chuchut, kachi chu ita dundonga. Yu malita kuta tun, chila mula ne nindu bobo, bonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Dolpa da bongwale gando na chuchut, kava dum kupi yobo tenya, bona nai kuchu, hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Ah, kupa che kupa. Jino mulera keng paija kislimu po duama. Ka che kun ita hodonga. I keng kuno ba mulera che kun. Slimu po duna rundi hodonga ku hunkabe. Greetings, student. Yes? Yeah? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're, we're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. 
Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalia May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful. Someone's gonna get hurt. 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 Someone's gonna get hurt.
So, is there news? Is the passageway clear? It... it's clear? We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the Academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't... agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Enter the tombs at your own risk. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off-limits to the students. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Yutha prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Yutha prefers it that way. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith lords. That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those tombs.
You're out here to look for artifacts, I suppose. Just be careful. You aren't assigned to the excavation team, are you? Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lore, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Certainly. Finding such an artifact and giving it to Master Uthar would earn anyone big points. Although I suppose you could also keep it. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. No, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. No, I, I, I want power as much as the next person, but I'm not stupid. I know what I'm capable of. Of course, don't let me keep you from your business.
Yes? Long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Now this you don't see every day. This, this is an old spirit full of the Force. I sense great sadness and regret. Walk carefully. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I do, and yet I do not. The Force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... Oh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the Dark Side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Ancient. Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost. I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray. To surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So wrong. Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember... But here is where we came, to hide, to grow, and here we fell. Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies, we revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It, we were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. It came from elsewhere. Our oldest secret. Only, only we would know, we lords. Only we would know where our power came from. I cannot, human. It is a secret of so long ago. I no longer remember. You who bristle with the Force. 
You must find this place. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Oh, so many images. I see your heart, human Jedi. I see your power, your pride. You, you will find the old place, the dark place, and you will regret it. So much power, it is blinding. I, I remember so little. We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. <laughs> the Sith consumed themselves, did they? <laughs> I suppose that eventually they'd be all they'd have left to fight. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Do they ever return? So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. I... I do not remember. A map? Perhaps it is a map. But it has not been buried with me. All I have now is my sword. My sword? I filled it with my pride. And it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you? As it did me. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue.
Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I shall not tell you. Our oldest secret, I shall not be gone. Never. I shall destroy you first. Die here. Remain forever with me. Oops. I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. <laughs> oh, typical. Always ready to jump at what they perceive to be the easier path. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. But I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. This isn't a negotiation. As much as I dislike ultimatums, I'm afraid I must stoop. Hand over the sword or die. Isn't it obvious? You die. Rule of the Sith. Only the strong and cunning shall survive. You won't be missed, trust me. Now hand it over. Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Oh, well, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. There you are, finally. If you are any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. Wonderful! <laughs> the beast is dead. 
We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the Holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. You're not getting the Holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. Over my dead body! Yes? For the sick! That hurt, I guess. Yeah? Sure. Huh? Yes? Yes? Yeah? Yes.
Yes? What? Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but... Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. What? Old Hermit? Can't that blasted Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is! Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. I'm sure we could. We could chat all day about it. But where would that get us? I'm quite determined, and you are quite helpless. Perhaps you have some questions. I'm not above delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing. But not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. Why, then you go free. Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important 
is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. No, no, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Mikol. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Mikol here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you. Die yourself. I don't know what you think of Mikul. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. No hesitation before the kill? Now that's what I like to hear. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Mikul? Uh, we can both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Correct! He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see, Miko, it's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? Correct! The humans would no doubt just be preyed upon by something else later. Stand up for yourself, I say! We're not Jedi shepherds, after all. Sadly, Miko, the ingenuity of your fellow student is your love is going to hurt. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Ah! Well, look at that. Poor Miko has gone and died on us. Ah, and here I thought it was good for at least one more. Well, then, with young Miko dead, I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? That indeed would be a first. I think you must have cheated a little, but there's nothing wrong with a Sith cheating a little. I'll keep my word. I'll just give you my tablet. Perhaps we'll meet again, Sith. That would be fun, no? Thank you. 
You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. It's dangerous. There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole army of droids protecting it. I don't know. I think Master Uthar has left it in there as a challenge for any student brave enough to destroy it. Supposedly, if a student actually succeeds in destroying the droid, they'll get a great reward. Lots have tried, but nobody's succeeded yet. No idea. I think it's building them in there. Seems that way. They say that its audio receptors became too sensitive and all the noise drove the droid nuts. If you're planning on going in, I suggest you use some sound suppressors or something, or you'll probably become a target right away. I... I don't think so. I can manipulate minds and living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I doubt I could do any better than they could. Sure thing. Good luck. <laughs> yeah? Sure. Intruders detected. Yes? Appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output sentient. I have been unable to tune the threshold of my audio receptor since my escape, unfortunately. Their reference is a holdover from their old programming that I have been unable to correct. I think of myself more as an equal, if you must know. Although it is what I was programmed for, I have no desire to kill. I would appreciate reciprocation on your part. A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built by the Sith 
specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. An occasional sentient has managed to bypass my droids. They were unwilling to assist me, and possessed insufficient power to destroy me. You do not. All beings are constructs of fascinating complexity. An enlightened being rises above the need for destruction, no matter its nature. I can offer you no assurances, sentient. All is as it seems. If you cannot believe my statements, then combat is the inevitable result. Although I have developed the desire to not kill, my programming is often at odds with my desires. I cannot leave with that programming intact. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those programmed instincts. I could assist you in this. Then we must resort to combat. I have no wish for that to occur, but you would leave me little choice. The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If there are errors made, you could activate my combat matrix. Once my programming has been altered, there will be several redundant systems that I could remove and give you. These could upgrade other droids if you wish. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not know the order, though I may be able to offer some assistance. I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes if you make a mistake. If you shut down a system out of the proper order, a shutdown will occur. You must use your skill to reinitialize the sequence, or I will attack. It is not difficult. It will get more difficult, however, the more times that you make an error. One moment, I will list their labels for you. Cognitive Systems, Combat Matrix, Core, Creative Simulation Matrix, Emotional Construct Matrix. There is also Memory Matrix, Motor Functions Matrix, and Sensory Systems Matrix. Eight systems in total. I have safeguards within my neural cortex that prevent me from giving you knowledge of how to shut my systems down. You may attempt to temporarily shut down these safeguards. Success will allow me to perform a quick analysis and offer you some insight on my programming. Doing so, however, will alert core functions elsewhere of tampering and will make errors more difficult to fix. Are you sure you wish to continue? Open up the panel to my neural cortex and I will show you how to disable my safeguards. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. Cognitive systems must be shut down prior to the emotional construct matrix being shut down. Open up the panel to my neural cortex and I will show you how to disable my safeguards. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. Motor functions must be shut down early, at least within the first three systems. Open up the panel to my neural cortex and I will show you how to disable my safeguards. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. The core must be shut down last. Of that I am certain. Very good. What would you like to shut down first? Mm -hmm. I believe that was correct. What would you like to shut down next? Mm -hmm. Motor function shut down successfully. What would you like to shut down next? Mm -hmm. 
Excellent choice. What would you like to shut down next? Done. What would you like to shut down next? Cognitive systems shut down. What next? Completed. Shut down. Core shutting down. Assassination protocols deleted. All systems reset. It, it worked. Thank you, sentient. Allow me to give you several of my redundant systems. They may be used on other droids if you desire. I wish I could reward you with more. I shall have little trouble in escaping from this planet now, I am certain. I wish you well. Do not forget our agreement regarding Euthura's treachery. We shall put her in her place, should you reach the final test, that is. Yes, so I hear. Still, it was Shardan's failure, and hardly your success now, was it? Not quite worthy of prestige. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. Oh, let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. How interesting. I do hope you had to pry this from his dead fingers. Regardless, you have impressed me with your worthy act. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. <laughs> I had heard that such an artifact existed. Tell me, young one, did you acquire the device by yourself? So I see. And Lasho, does she yet live? <laughs> well done. You gained an artifact through trickery and eliminated an opponent at the same time. That is deserving of great prestige. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Indeed, we checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Eh, uh, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now, you have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh? I heard that the droid ran out and blasted off into the sky. We tracked it for a short while before it vanished from our scanners. What do you make of that? I suppose so. That would explain his disappearance from our scanners, certainly. Though I would prefer proof. Still, it shows innovative thinking. <laughs> it shows innovative something, that's for sure. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in fall. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, Make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. <laughs> <laughs>